Hi Parvin. Hi. Uh, couldn't you explain your company and yourself? Okay, my name is uh, Parvin. Uh, I'm a executive director at Hostimo. Uh, we have founded uh, the company in uh, uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. And now no, we have uh, we we operate global in uh, global market and also in the local market in Azerbaijan. Uh, couldn't you explain a little bit about population in, in Azerbaijan? Uh, we are uh, 10 million uh, of population. Almost 80% of the population use, uh, are internet users. And uh, it, it, it makes uh, the hosting and the internet uh, is something uh, great in, in the country. Uh, they, so the market uh, helps also to market uh, growth day by day. And as I, as I see, Azerbaijan market is a little bit special as uh, you have about 10 people in population, but you have about 30 or 50 million people in the world talking in Azerbaijan yes. language. Yes, yes. And, right. by, and by the way, that many of them living in Iran and Georgia. And by the way, you have similar speaking with, uh, similar speech with uh, Turkish people, from people from Turkey. Yes, it's right. And uh, uh, as we support, uh, as we provide support in Azerbaijan uh, language also. Uh, some of the uh, deaf people who live in Russia, in Georgia, choose us because of the, uh, the support in, our, uh, in their own language. And it means that uh, like Azerbaijan is only 10 million, but potentially covering yes, this language we can it cover. It's more than uh, 10 million. And, uh, uh, as I said, uh, they, they, uh, they need uh, their support in uh, Azerbaijan. Even they live in Georgia or uh, Iran, uh, mm -hmm. Iran or uh, Russia. Uh -huh. And uh, do you know what is about quantity of full market? How many domains of .az? Unfortunately, I cannot uh, give uh, exact such number. information <laughs> uh, because uh, we have problems in the counter about the uh, market research. Oh. That's uh, I'm not sure if someone knows the, the no exact number of the domains they have uh, registered. Uh, but I know the size of the market in uh, I mean uh, the amount of this uh, more than 12 million uh, dollars. Uh, the size of the uh, market, mm -hmm. hosting and market in Azerbaijan. And do what about quantity of shared hosting users? It's uh, 10,000, 100,000, half million? Uh, just your opinion, just, it's not like uh, regular statistics, the, the, just There is a opinion. specific situation. Uh, in Azerbaijan, the people uh, use internet, but uh, they do not know how it works. So okay. most of our clients are developers. They, uh, they put, uh, they create a developed website and uh, put it uh, mm -hmm. all of, their client site in a hosting package so you cannot we can uh, we cannot even uh, make a statistic uh, from our clients because there is a developer he uh, we know that he is developer because uh, when he asks for support we know that he's someone uh, know about the code the page version mm -hmm. all, all that so he has more than uh, 10 or uh, 15 uh, domains from different in industries so uh, we count it as one client, but normally he's uh, more than 15. So it makes it harder to count. But as I see in Google, uh, the latest data is uh, 2010. So internet penetration here is uh, 50%. But if you go to the street, every guys who clean toilets has smartphones and yeah. everybody has smartphones. Yeah, uh, there, there is a research of the uh, International Telecommunication Union in, made in uh, 218. Uh, it shows that, uh, as I said, uh, there is set, uh, seven. Uh, sorry, I am francophone, so I, yeah. sometimes I pronounce in French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it shows that uh, seven uh, point uh, seventy two uh, billion of the people use internet. They have access to internet, uh, so it is normal that you see that all, all people having something in their hand and they, con they are connected. How people typically use domain names? For example, there are some countries like, as they say, Mexico, uh, they buy one domain name, one web page, and like 
use it together. There are some countries where people buy one hosting package and 10 or 20 domain names around. What is about Azerbaijan? How people use it? Uh, as I said before, uh, normal, uh, as it is developers <laughs> yeah. buy the hosting, uh, normal it is the, uh, take the, the biggest uh, package with the unlimited account and they yeah. put all. So it is uh, a little bit uh, unmeasurable. <laughs> So but it just just a regular person, for example, regular person, they are one two domains so one domain. If I have one business and uh, yeah, one two, mm -hmm. mostly one one domain. And the support is typically in two languages there. Uh, yes, uh, as I said, uh, we we operate globally and we have uh, clients from different time zone, from the Philippines to uh, to the United States. So we must be online 24-7 uh, uh, in English, in Russian and also, of course, in Azerbaijan, in three okay. languages. So you have three languages in 24-7? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's regular? It's like a regular requirement for a local hosting company to have 24-7 or, uh, or no, it's like or special benefits yeah. from you? We are the, the only company who uh, provides uh, uh, this service, uh, mm -hmm. so that's why we. Yeah, it is it is required because uh, especially uh, the uh, developers they work the nights and they when they need uh, help uh, yeah. they write on, on the chat and they open a ticket, so it's, uh, it is required in the local market also. Or do people prefer quality or price uh, when they choose hosting? Uh, I would say both uh, because, as I said, it is developers and uh, they they uh, they care about the speed and they care about the uh, service, the quality of service, but also the price. Uh, it, it is it depends the socioeconomic uh, level of the country, and so uh, all people cares about the and price. A, yesterday, you mentioned about uh, some uh, statistic that companies who sell product very cheap, typically do not survive after two years. Yes, we have made a little uh, search uh, globally. Uh, the companies uh, uh, founded, uh, for example, this year, they, uh, the 30 percent of the, these companies uh, uh, didn't survive, uh, not survive more than three years. So. We, ad we have adjusted the price for that, for example, for uh, for trees we, we give a 50% discount, uh, so most of the these companies will not be, if they bought in triennial building uh, term, they will not see uh, the third year, so they will not use the service. In Azerbaijan, the uh, number is higher. Uh, we I think this is uh, 50 or 60 percent of the business found that uh, they did not serve up more than three years. 50 or 50 okay, so typically, if people see excellent price, typically they should know that they will change supplier in one or two years, or maybe tomorrow if they pay yes. for three years. Typically, these suppliers take money for three years. And then bankrupt or just close company, open other brands. And <laughs> yes, uh, so the, in, in local market there, there are some uh, guys. I don't, they are not mm -hmm. company. They, uh, as they, as I said, uh, in Azerbaijan, most of the people uh, do not know how internet works. How what is the hosting? How, mm -hmm. for example, they uh, they look uh, a video mm -hmm. on YouTube, but they do not know where is the uh, video uh, video have. Mm -hmm. Is placed. Uh, so most of the guys uh, they uh, they buy a VPS, <laughs> even from us. <laughs> they add VPS. They uh, put a cPanel, so they uh, they are acting like a hosting company. Mm -hmm. So one day uh, the the guy uh, receive a, a good offer, so it stops it. Okay. Uh, if he, uh, if he, he is good a person, he he he, he take time to migrate uh, it to, to another company. If not, they. <laughs> He, he shut down the server, server and then he goes home. <laughs> what about average price for shared hosting? It's about two, three euros uh, or something. It's a hard question. Why? Because uh, I will divide uh, the companies into in two parts in Azerbaijan. First uh, are the companies like us. Mm -hmm. 
who is the hosting is the main uh, field, main yes. service. Uh, so our prices are uh, fair enough. Mm -hmm. But there are also other companies who, who provide also uh, internet, uh, cable telephone, uh, TV. Yeah. Uh, so the hosting is not their main field and uh, they put uh, the incredible price uh, and they they don't care about the uh, price, the market. Uh, I don't believe they have uh, they have done any market research in recent years. Mm -hmm. So they they can sell uh, a, a hosting plan for f uh, five or ten dollars with only one gigabyte uh, yeah, yeah. space. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, the others, if I we don't uh, yeah. count them, uh, average price is. Uh, one two euro so it's uh, typically starts one two euro so typically uh, when people search for uh, some hosting in that area because in europe there are like huge c competition but if they need the hosting uh, here i don't know georgia turkey iran somewhere around so azerbaijan is quite friendly as with prices and uh, also with support as support cover many languages and also prices here quite well Quite good. And uh, do local people prefer local provider or global providers? As I know, many hosting providers they keep servers. I don't know in Amsterdam. Yes, uh, I understand. Uh, I will, I'm sorry, but I will not be modest uh, uh -huh. this time. Okay. Uh, I would say no before us, uh, mm -hmm. but now uh, I, I say yes. Uh, because uh, the main reason is uh, the, uh, there are a lot of uh, people who have migrated their uh, sites to us from uh, global providers. Mm -hmm. uh, the main reason is the, uh, the support in our, their own language. So when they write, in, if they don't know English well, uh, most of the people don't know it uh, mm -hmm. well. So with us, they. Uh, they have a, this service, the technical service, uh, mm -hmm. in their own language, and it affects. They uh, they migrate. As you see, latency here from here to Amsterdam is about 80 milliseconds or something. And yes. if somebody put a server there, so it's much websites in Azerbaijan or Georgia it will work much faster than if they be in yeah, Germany. Yeah, of course, the, uh, it affects also. Do you have some uh, regular like government? regulations about that all local people should put all websites here in Azerbaijan? No, there is not any uh, such uh, regulation. regulation, but for only for the, uh, for the government uh, or government supported mm -hmm. uh, companies. For example, uh, the, the banks or the companies which uh, uh, government is also shareholder, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, are, they are not allowed to put anywhere. Only the, they are, there are also the companies supported, the hosting providers supported by uh, the, the government. Uh, they are co a company in, in base of the, the, the Minister of the uh, Telecommunications. Mm -hmm. So they are not allowed to keep there. This is the only regulation. Uh, the other uh, regulation uh, it is about uh, th that as domain name. Uh, you must be a citizen or a company or a ah, okay. resident, and it is hard to. For example, we, we do not provide uh, that as domain uh, because of it's hard uh, process. Right to to be become registered. Uh, become uh, the registrar. Okay. Okay, and uh, about. Uh, payment solutions. Uh, As you know, there are other card and some other payment solutions for Azerbaijan. Yes, we have uh, our local uh, payment processors and uh, from global ones only the, to check out supports Azerbaijan. Mm -hmm. uh, most of people pay uh, by cards. Uh, we have also a valid colored portmanat. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also popular. It's like aggregator or it's a self-management system? Like a it's about you, you put your money there then, and then okay. you use to pay mm -hmm. where you want. Uh, unfortunately, PayPal is not authorized mm -hmm. in Azerbaijan. 
Uh, the money, the money from Russia? No. Uh, no. 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 no it, it's not answer that. Uh, so we use PayPal uh, for the uh, foreign. Okay. Customers. Okay, foreign customers. They. Um, couldn't you uh, explain some know-hows of your companies? Mm. As, as I know, for example, you you have server there and outside Azerbaijan, so you can cover some uh, needs. The most of our servers uh, are located in uh, Europe and mm -hmm. in United States. Uh, first, because of the level of the uh, data centers. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, as I said, uh, most of the, our uh, customers are from out of Azerbaijan, mm -hmm. so. Uh, uh, we, we must uh, care about the ping time of the server. Mm -hmm. uh, s uh, server. That's why we mostly uh, we put the service in out of Azerbaijan. We have the service in uh, Poland, in Amsterdam, in Dallas, and in uh, Los Angeles. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, about uh, somehow, I think it is uh, for us it is a customer uh, centric approach. You know. We, we believe that uh, it is not our customers who pays us, but the customers of our customers pays us. Because mm -hmm. uh, if uh, our customers earn, uh, they will make us earn. So we, we, we try to do best uh, to help to our customers uh, to that their works go on well, and so they can <laughs> earn. And uh, Henry Ford, uh, the first Henry Ford said. Uh, that product pays the salary, <laughs> and yeah. you like, go deeper said like, like uh, customer of your customers. For example, uh, there is a company and he, he has the problem uh, with his mail, mm -hmm. and he must participate to a tender. He must send a offer to a tender. Mm -hmm. If we uh, do not resolve his problem, maybe he has problem with his mm -hmm. outlook, not with us, our mail service. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, we had experienced that uh, our uh, my teammates are connected via TeamViewer and uh, repaired his outlook, so he can offer uh, this. Uh, he can send this offer. Yeah. So he, I don't know he had <laughs> uh, won the tender or not, but we have tried to help him to won uh, to win this tender. And what about uh, website builders? The popularity is growing, or is there still the like uh, hidden at the market? It is. It is. Uh, I, I would say it is hidden, but uh, it comes. Uh, it comes uh, more popular day by day. Uh, we are working on a on a video of, as I said mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, on a video of the one or one, one hour. Mm -hmm. uh, a popular guy, a, a popular techno guy, will actually create a, a, a site on a Site Pro, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it will show how how the two the, the things, and we will uh, then promote it in a local market. How about global brands, uh, global website builder brands, and global uh, hosting brands like you know GoDaddy, like Wix, like you know uh, uh, people's uh, uh -huh. people know. Or, or Wix, but mm -hmm. not the others. Wix, it is more popular. Uh, but incredible, incredibly expensive here. But yes, still, people. Is. But some people use it. Yes. Yeah, some people use it, but I don't. Maybe developers. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I don't think uh, there are mm, a lot of users for the hosting uh, companies. There are Hostgator is known. Bluehost is well known here. Yeah. I don't think uh, GoDaddy. Uh, there, there was a period where the code is uh, mm -hmm. popular and then the people uh, buy the domain from there, now they, they have stopped. They have stopped. Yeah. And what is about uh, your maybe biggest fails? So for example, many young hosting companies look at us and uh, they think, oh, they, they are big and uh, we're small, maybe we do something wrong, so they just see that oh, big guys also do some some fails. Um, we haven't uh, t taken the uh, good direction at mm -hmm. the start. Uh, we have uh, we have chosen the trade hosting as the main product. Mm -hmm. Then we understand that uh, <laughs> the dedicated server <laughs> is better. So we okay. have uh, the f that's I think the it can be uh, the okay. biggest 
say so, again, okay. the, the mass because we do the we, you you would earn much more if you yes okay and the uh, when you uh, sell uh, dedicate safe you sell to a pro so mm. he, you don't need support uh, sometimes if there are a problem with the network or the or server uh, server uh, shut down but trade hosting you must uh, support is uh, I follow us level yeah okay and uh, couldn't you share maybe your best campaign as I see your you have your actor or something do maybe can share the maybe success of this campaign uh, yes I can or maybe as a campaign yeah, we have uh, we have to campaign uh, uh, we have a free trial campaign uh, mm -hmm. which uh, we do not uh, ask for any card payment mm -hmm. card details or any payment uh, mm -hmm. method details uh, we have just uh, people click and try if they are uh, satisfied they stay and mm -hmm. we offer uh, migration service for uh, even for the trial mm -hmm. so uh, and we know that uh, more than 50 uh, percent of the uh, who have tried the trio stays with us so mm -hmm. this, this campaign uh, continues still the another uh, I would say it is uh, maybe not the best but may, uh, most uh, amazing we had made uh, an email marketing and the subject of the mail is just another hosting <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, it was the we had the most uh, feedback for the campaign, it, it was the, the I think one of the best campaign uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> because people think why why does another thing <laughs> normally uh, what we do uh, we did uh, I think like that we uh, take the email and we make forward the same email. So just forward the same email and just said you didn't answer last time and there's a like all header from last time and uh, you didn't uh, reply us last time so we will contact you again when and uh, can I call you today or something and then when people see that typically robot sends uh, one email but if robots send emails that with header and with other email they, they understand that it's a human and and possibly if they send you a second email, possibly he will send you a third email and fourth, <laughs> and maybe it's easier to answer <laughs> yes. something like that. So, and it's not like like a spam, you know, when you're unable to decline. So they see it's like a person writing you a second time. So possibly if I not answer, <laughs> yeah. so it's, it's much easier to answer. It's better to, to reply and finish. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay.